Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe you know go ahead and share it will be greatly appreciated so um, with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video a everything is protected in divine light love and light you know if you're coming over here with ill wishes or you're trying to do some little salty stuff that's going straight left and i'm hitting right it's coming right back to send i'm just letting y'all know that now okay so, the video I'm about to do right now is called Twin Flame 101, The Ascension Crossover. You know, everybody's going through major transmutations, like you're going through spiritual trance at top tier. When I say whatever you're going through in transformation, that mess is hitting like crazy. You didn't see it coming. And you'll know, you know, a lot of times, sometimes, the, a lot of times, sometimes. <laughs> It'll be different times where we're going through some battles. We're facing some things that just make you feel downright uncomfortable that lets you know you done catapulted into something that you weren't expecting yourself to you you don't hit you know you thought you hit here and you're way up there and you you actually had an ascension crossover you know i was just talking about um in the video uh you're cracking codes to become the code you you find out you are that major code of uh different things it's like you have your own language you know on how you do things you know you had to see things from a higher level you know you're connecting with the higher source you know you're getting um close connection if you're not all the way fully emerged into your higher self you're you're connecting with that and you're seeing things at a strategic level like you're able to see between the lines you you know um a lot of times something will come towards you like you you get it's like you already getting these spiritual notifications it's like hey you know um be alert for certain things it's just like you may be chatty you going to work today and um you know usually you, you know talking to everybody you know spirit was like hey you know, pay attention, move in silence, just see different things was coming on, you know, and maybe you weren't even on that level to be opening up that type of vibration. And all of a sudden you start hearing different things. You start seeing a lot of different things because it's like we're coming in terms of a lot of things that we held on to. It was either subconsciously or unsubconsciously uh, that we allowed ourselves to mer merge in, you know, because a lot of things that we hold on to, it can get real heavy. You know, there'll be different things that you're really trying to understand or it can be just working your last nerve and you're just trying to understand why. And a lot of different things is coming in where you had to experience these shortcomings. You know, if you're going through, you know, uh, narcissistic uh, attachments or you're going through trauma bonding, uh, uh, soul tides, all these different things is bringing lessons in ways we weren't uh, expecting. You know, these are different things that's telling you be resilient. You know, no matter what is coming towards your way to knock you down, get your butt right back up. You know, you are so much stronger than you give yourself credit for. You you are that light. You know, why you in the midst of the darkness, it was always there. You're you're seeing that. You're starting to see the different things that, you know, are higher guides, you know, have been seeing this whole time. You know, you hold that power. That's why you go through so many different things, even with ourselves. We can be our own worst critic. We can be our own worst enemy at times and not realizing you're the bomb. Dot com. You don't really know that, you know, and then it, you had to go through these different things that showed you that, you know, it'll be different things that, you know, uh, where you always notice you're always getting into it with somebody. I mean, it, it could be you could walk into the room and somebody already at your, you know, already trying to get up in your face about something like that. It's only Tuesday. You fighting because it ain't Wednesday yet. What does that got to do with me? You know, and different stuff like that. But you just don't know. It's, it's like I tell anybody, I say, hey. You gotta understand when the more you start becoming more clear with you moving forward, you're allowing yourself to step out your own way. Because a lot of times we can be anxious, you know, um, get agitated because certain things that we're facing right now is very uncomfortable. We're like, man, come on, look, look can we split this up, please? Because this is torturous and it's working on my last nerve. I'm not trying to go to jail because I'll be that type of one that smile in my own mugshot. I ain't got time. You know, it'd be one of those things. It's like, no, this is something you have to practice patience on and you be ready to just be fighting that going to hire yourself from, you know, be tooth and nail. But this is something that you really truly had to understand about yourself. It's like when you have to learn the depth of knowledge, 
it's going to come in the most uncomfortable ways. And then it's just like you're going to understand why you had to go through that day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Because this is really showing you who you truly are. And it's really allowing yourself to see what your enemies see. Because if you start seeing what your enemies see, you can understand why you got enemies. You know, and you have different things like that. And I always tell, you know, when I talk one-on-one -on -one with hell, because that's what you're able to understand. The more you tend to be open towards universe and you're wanting to your your goal is to heal you know let go of everything and anyone that is no longer positively serving you and that's what's going on right now you're cutting things that just dragging you you know you stepping away from things it's just like this ain't my fight I don't know. certain things i gotta put the red white flag red white and blue flag up because this ain't even about me you know this is something i know not that day my battle mm -mm. i'm a warrior but this ain't mine you know and you you allowing yourself to do that even sometimes when you don't Sometimes we got to make those decisions that may break the heart, but it's going to soothe the soul. It's going to strengthen the soul. And that's what you're doing with these ascension crossovers because you're going through so much, like, skin breaking out. Like, mine is just like, you know, I started getting acne. I haven't started, you know, I had acne my whole day on, like, growing up, and all of a sudden now my face want to break out, you know. And dreams get more vivid. You know, you hot one minute, cold one, one minute. You, you going through, it's like you're going through a detox you know you're feeling nauseous you know your solar plexus is all backed up you know or you can't stop going to the bathroom you're feeling nauseous you're feeling dizzy you know different stuff like that you know um being more sensitive to things that didn't even really bother you back then now it's just like you can sit up here and watch uh bambi and your butt end up crying you know it'd be something like that but then it's just like when you start clearing now you know whatever you know everything is amplifying so you like sensitive to everything especially uh what it um what is it what is it uh, uh yeah hsp you know higher sensitive person you know you're going through those different things and the more you clear you can have that gift of where you can read people's thoughts i don't like that because <laughs> i'm here and stuff i'm like oh my god if you don't if you don't choose and lose, go on somewhere and you be hearing different things. I'm just like, uh-uh, I don't like that. You know, I've just been staying with myself because there's a lot of thoughts you read and you don't even want to. And it's just telling you, and sometimes that could be a lifesaver for you, you know. And now it's just like when you're you're relying more on your intuition, your intuitive, your gut feeling. You know, it'll be different times that, you know, you may want to talk to somebody about certain things. And, you know, you're not giving out too much detail in universe as I see you know you're learning what we're talking about you're trusting your gut it's not to say that um you're talking to somebody that's not trustworthy it'll be just certain things that you uh you don't want to embody no more you know and i have to learn that too you know going through different things and it's just like when you are ready to let go of that you can't keep bringing that up you know and you know we're human we we are learning by growing you know experimenting and understanding this is the reason why they set us on you know th that vibe on that path where you're showing you're showing even your you know what can go good in the decisions that you make in a good situation but also go bad because we have to be able to do it like that but they are always telling us don't look at things as positive or negative you know seeing it is it is just some kind of universal language you had to be able to to go through you had to be able to be teachable and you're going through those different things and when you're surpassing a lot of stuff you are noticing a lot of things are coming in heavy at you you know as soon as you over two or three things like you done you know you done became your own marvel comic and wiped out about three things and 20 different things is coming at you and this is just like you a warrior you have to be you know even when we feel like we can't handle it is is this guy like always tell you you're ready to roll your eyes at him and it's nothing i'm gonna put it on you you can't handle i'm like yeah you must be thinking i'm a badass you know <laughs> i can't deal with all this is good this ain't good for my heart and it's showing good in my soul and it's about to make my patience very short you know and be really doing stuff like that but this is that thing it's like know yourself know thyself you know above it as above so below so within so without you're knowing yourself on a very different level and you're going through that ascension crossover so now it's just like when you know you have cleared out a lot of things you're accepting things for what they are you're forgiving you know you're placing on different things you're having a, a deeper understanding even about your enemies you know you you know you even it's hard at times you got to pray for them but a lot of times if you know you what you're going through you're going to pray for them because you you don't want to sit up here and get into that initial you know contact you don't want to be made, made them face to face you know just pray for them they're going through a lot of stuff that you don't understand just because you don't you know project stuff like that don't mean that next person is guaranteed to do what you do you know they always want you to understand that don't take it personal even though it's hard to you know it's like man they aiming at me you know they taking jabs at me 
you have to understand there's something about you that that, that is an inferior complex. You know, people, you know, you you intimidate people. It's like, and I used to wonder why when people say you intimidate and you, 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 you know, people fear you. I said, then why do they keep on trying me if they fear me? You, you don't want me to step that line. You know, I was like, why do they do that? Because it is something about them that, that you know, they... I don't know. I don't know. Because I always used to feel that. I said, they're totally stupid. If they they fear me, why the hell are they trying me? Why are they trying to cross that line? Ain't nothing but space and opportunity. Don't do that. You know, don't do that to me. And show them, don't do it to yourself. But this is at that time where even the universe is telling you, pick your battles wisely. <laughs> pick your battles wisely. Because it's just like I told you. It, it's just like all eyes on you. You know, you can't even go past the battle before somebody already know what you're doing. Or you might have to ask them, you know, some place is messed up right now. Hey, you know what I'm about to go? No, what? Why are you asking me for it? That's kind of that. No, I mean, because you're watching everything my ass do. I'm just thinking you probably know where I'm about to go digest before I digest. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm prepared, you know. But these are the different things that you're seeing. When you allow yourself to be a, I know my ish. I'm, I'm, you know, this is something I'm going through. This is something I'm growing through. Because you're going through it and growing through it. And these, um these situations and it's just like so many key components of of answers is coming to you in the most craziest way you'll be having aha moments you know every every five minutes like, dang that's what that meant mm-hmm. you know even when you go through youtube and stuff like that will be certain things that you may see and it, it has a message to it so all of a sudden you start getting that spiritual chill like god dog okay and you know i'll be getting them thing on chills like it'll start making my head itch i'm like god dog you know and even it's just like I noticed it's like my hair is getting so much thicker that you know, it's already been thick, but now that mess is getting real thick. And then it's like my nails is growing like crazy. And, you know, different things is accelerating right now. You know, you, you might need a little bit more sleep. Your sleep pattern is just totally off. You, you know, it just, you know, there'll be sometimes you trying to, you, you stuck on surprise because you only probably get two hours of sleep and you running. You're like, where are you getting? It's just like, didn't you tell me you went to bed at one o'clock? And you woke up at 101 and you still got energy like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. You know, and you're accelerating. It's just like now you're burning off all that's no longer needed. You know, you're putting it into place now. It's like other things is coming in. And you're you're seeing that certain shift that you have where you may be that person that's short-tempered. Like, you just don't have time for the ignorance that people want to project towards you. Now it's just like, like I said earlier... You're, you're choosing your battles wisely. You, If you see what that person like, oh, Lord, here we go. You know, here goes the trigger. You know, and, and it'll be just like, you yeet right across that. I'm like, uh, uh, I ain't about to even do that with you. <laughs> not today, not tomorrow. I got, I'm going to put my, my mind on something else. You know, if they want to stay in that situation that they let them be there. You know, you keep allowing yourself to go. Because it, it's just like right now, the devil got everybody assigned to you. You have to understand that uh, once you go up, darkness goes up too. Once you play low, they play low. Every time you you know you ante up on one, they trying to do it too. They got trackers for us. You know you doing them harbingers. And I just noticed it was like when I used to always say that, and then now they got I don't know if this is on um was on Peacock or 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 Amazon Plus. I don't know what it is, but they got some new movie called Harbinger. I'm like oh lord. You know, because it's like I noticed that when we're woke, there's a lot of different things that that either has already happened and they're trying to remind us of something that we may be missing or there'll be different things that hasn't yet came into play yet. And this is like your forewarning on different things that's going on. And it's just like so many different things. It's like, um, like I said in my other videos or you've probably seen me say it before, you can watch uh, a movie. And it'll be one of your favorite movies you watch over and over and over again. And then next thing you know, after you don't woke all the way up, it, it'll give you chills like, whoa, why didn't I see this? Up? You aren't intending to see it right now. But it could be going, something go on. And next thing you know, you see it. Because just like I was watching, it was like two years ago. It was right around the time the, um, you know, the pandemic and lockdown and stuff was going on. And, um... I was watching Constantine, and you know, if anybody watched Constantine, and you've seen the ending of that, and then you know, New York is is a place that never sleeps. You there's you know there's a million of people out even at, at two three o'clock in the morning, and then when you see that, you know, when you look at Constantine, he walks out that building, you know, from where the lawyers and stuff is, and you see nobody. 
because I remember I was showing my friend to live in, in bed style. I'm like, man, look at this. And he was like, what is that? I said, that was Constantine, man, look at this. And this thing came out in the 90s, and this is just like projecting something we need to know what's going on now, you know? And you're seeing all these different crazy things that's going on, and it's showing you, you know, all these different things that's coming out. And this is like now you're seeing harbingers, and them things have been here for a long time. Just like, I'll be telling people, you know, or even asking other people, you know, you've been around certain places, it's just, it just, I don't know what it is, make your skin crawl. And then you can be around people that you know, that you know, always wrapped in the drama, or they doing some very low down stuff, and all of a sudden you see their face just change. And I'm like, you know, anybody with a closed mind, like, man, something wrong with you, or you need to stop smoking that weed. You know, I'm like, no. And I was like, shoot, I want smoking weed. It made me want to go smoke after I saw some mess like that. Because you hear it, you smell it, you see it. You know, there'll be different times. Like I told people, when you um, go through spiritual awakenings, when you don't know, and all of a sudden you start having that negativeness coming in your ear talking about you need to unlive yourself or you need to unlive your children and, or your husband or your wife and stuff like that. They don't want you. They don't need you. They're going to see them scars. They're going to see everything that's afflicting on you because they don't want you to move in truth. And all of a sudden you start smelling stuff that is like rotted or you start smelling sulfur and stuff like that. Waking up and having all these bruises and scratches on you that you don't know, understand what's going on. Seeing dark shadows in the rooms and stuff like that. It's just like when you open up, the devil don't want you to do that. He wants you to be docile. He wants you to play dumb, you know. Cause be, you know, when it, it's like truth to stranger than fiction, you're like, man, this is too much. I'm, you know, I'm gonna act like I ain't see that. I want to. Some people play that very well. When they know they see something, they're like, ain't nobody gonna believe me. People gonna think I'm crazy, and they like that. You know, that's what else you. Oh, you, you, you the devil, buddy. But when you allow yourself to say, oh no, I don't crack the code. Let me go see what just going on. He, all of a sudden, hell about to break loose because you're bold enough to see where 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 this is leading you to. What it, what am I needing? To uh, understand what do I need to learn about myself on a different level, you know, and you're, you know, and it's it's just like what us being so woke and we standing in our truth right now. It's like the energy we have is flipping stuff. Like it's, you know, and it is like the what what I'm getting signs that we're getting it is messing with the atmosphere, the dimensions, you know, ones that are not yet discovered yet. It's affecting that. You know, or, you know, portals is, is popping open and it's just with them popping open like back to back to back to back like that. And it'll be ones that they don't have recorded this popped open just because the energy is so potent like that. It's cracking ones they ain't even supposed to open yet. Like it's supposed to open up like, okay, in 500 years. And it's just the energy that we're pl playing out. It don't open up some stuff before time. And now all this other energy, you know, and it, it, it's not coming in, you know, accordingly. It's all over the place and it's getting very intense. And you're feeling something. It's like, you know, you have this vibration like something big is about to happen. Something huge. And, you know, I don't know what it is. Some people think it's evil. Some people, you know, think it's scary or whatever. Or something that, you know, everybody needs at this time. And it's like, from what I'm getting, it's not something bad. It's going to be something beautiful. You know that the world needs right now we're all at each other's throat every time you turn around you see all the bad stuff going around in the world you know these these mass shootings these mass killings you know people you know finding babies and stuff in the trunk and people leaving the car you know and it's just like the devil at work right now because he know God's on to something God's about to have something out so he's just trying to recruit anything that he can to, to mix up that vibe I'm gonna be looking at him like I'll be looking at other people where you think you could do something I'm like are you just trying to tell me <laughs> you can override what God doing. You know, and I be asking folks like that. You, you know, you be doing stuff and, you know, universe telling you to stop. God telling you to stop. And you keep doing it. I said, oh, they yeah, like the mind. They sit back. Now, what's wrong? Uh-uh. They think they can overpower God. That was a big-ass mistake that they did. Let them, do, let, let them be stupid if they want to. But you stay out of the way for that. You covered. <laughs> you covered. You know, you already got your, you know, astro, uh, what is it, astrological uh, insurance on you. You know, they don't got... They don't cover that type of stuff, so you go ahead and stay out your way. You just keep praying on yourself and keep doing the best you can. You already covered. And so different things is taking place in your life where stuff is really transforming, you know, and it's really hitting uh, very, you know, very heavy. And you're going through that because it just seems like, why is this stuff so heavy? Why is stuff so intense? You'll find yourself going through isolation. You'll find yourself not really want to talk to nobody if you don't have to. And different than even with your animals. It's like with my cat, you probably hear her at the door just banging. You know, she she used to be minding her own business, go in the window. All of a sudden, she got to be up under me 24-7. She going through uh, transitions herself. 
you know, you can go to just the thing. I'm gonna pause this so I can bring her up in here because she is not gonna be working my nerves today. Hold on just a second, y'all. Okay, y'all, my bad. She up here on the bed. But yeah, um, you'll notice you're still going through it because some, you know, some animals, I don't know if they're all empathic, but, um, you know, um, empathic uh, animals, you know, they can feel you when you're going through sadness and, you know, you're everything heavy. They want to be able to heal you with their vibration. You know, um, I know with my cat, when I be going through a lot of uh, purging and, you know, I'll go through crying, so we all go through it. And the first thing she do is she'll start knocking on my door because she already feel it, you know, uh, taking place when so she want to come in here, you know, and just bask me with her little, you know, it's <laughs> her little uh, frequency and it makes me feel so much better. And it's just like they're even getting clingy. So you even might notice your animals, if you got animals, that they're acting different. Some of them get, you know, uh, irritable thing they usually do and they want to be by themselves. And it's like, hey, don't push. Because they might, you know, especially I got my other cat, he can be very, he a narcissistic cat. So, <laughs> you know, he would get very, like, he don't want to be by, you don't want to be messed with. All of a sudden he'll start, you know, attacking you, attacking your feet. But her, she'll just roll her eyes at you and just like, okay, you don't want to be all me? Fine. I'm going, you know, I'm going in my little corner. Leave you alone. And see, it's just like with her, she want to be all up under me, like white on rice. But, you know, you're going through these huge changes that you are really going through an ascension crossover. And you'll feel it because everything will tend to either get very heightened where you're, I mean, you're, you're feeling everything in the world and it, it can be very annoying at times you know especially with everything that's going on in the world like i said before you are hearing about all these different things where you know it, it, there's so many different tragedies and fatalities going on in the world and you're taking that personal or it can be different things um where it gets heavy you know it, it don't take nothing to make you start busting out in tears and you're trying to understand why and it's just that you you're you're getting that loving energy you know um and it's just like you're clearing a lot that that uh, prevented you from getting love in the first place. You know, a lot of times where we feel like we're lonely or, you know, certain things. Stop trying to get my attention, ma'am. You have to wait. You know, you're going through different things and, you know, it's just like you feel alone. You keep on feeling all this dread, sadness in the world. And there could be loved ones, you know, if you got a twin flame, you know, they're sending love your way. You might have family that crossed over. They're trying to send it too. But if it, it, it's just like we're angry, we on that rage you know it's like you're you're blocking your heart you know your heart uh, uh uh chakra to where you can't receive that love and 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 strength they're trying to give you that upliftment they're trying to send your way so you know this is that that time where you know your family's all around you you know you may think about somebody you're going through you know your mood to transition or you know you're going through something heavy and all of a sudden you'll just think about you know a person that you lost or it means really really means that you either you'll get a thought about them or you'll have a scent for them or you'll even see their name so i'll mention their name and stuff like that and that's letting you know you know they're there with you they're protecting you they're guiding you you know letting you know it's okay you even probably have a lot of dreams about them you know and they're just trying to tell you, you know everything's going to be okay you're protected you're loved a lot of things that we're venturing on and moving up and you're not used to that type of vibration is very scary because you know it's natural behavior at times we fear the unknown because a lot of time we feel failure we feel like uh, we don't have what it takes to you know do that or you know or you're not gonna be understood or you just gonna mess up the assignment you know all those other things is taking place and they want you to be able to have that courage you know, you're moving accordingly like you're supposed to and have more faith in yourself. You know, there's different things that's going on to where, you know, you even been challenged through change. When you notice that you used to do really negative things, you know, you have a whole bunch of people around you because you're doing stuff that, you know, really it is it's not as it's, it's torturous to your soul. But when you make that bold move and you're allowing yourself, you know, you don't want to get into the drama. You, uh, you don't stop having addictions. You know, you're allowing yourself to meditate, you know, go out and, you know, nature, do all these different things. Things, and all of a sudden people don't want to deal with you no more people want to you know drop and it's just like you know and a lot of times I feel like you're losing a lot of people and it's like no because some of these people are are toxic for your your well-being you know there's a lot of people that had to go you know if it's from you know um that experience like I tell uh, everybody a lot of times they feel like people don't turn their back on you no you just going to an opposite direction those people are already held their purpose for what they needed to in that experience of that frame of mind only people certain people are only supposed to have access to you at a certain frequency you know because what could uh like somebody was good for triggering you 
it'd be a time like every time they will pull you in and they laugh because like okay I got that hold on them and then it gets to that point where you already see what's coming because it's so predictable you're allowing oh lord here goes that one thing and you're just allowing yourself to just go on about your way and act like you don't even see it or you already see if they're they're about that it's all you on that dumb again okay I'm allowing you to be on that just like you playing stupid games I'm gonna give you stupid prizes I'm not about to join that you know and you're allowing yourself to you know you stop before it even starts you know you go in another direction and like let me do me you know because I can't do this <laughs> you know and you'll start noticing the change that's coming in you you're starting to understand things more because it's like something is foreign all of a sudden you know at times we start panicking you know I'm like I don't know if I get this I don't know if I understand this and it'll be you just putting too much thought into it instead of letting it flow and it's just like when you go through those ascension crossover all of a sudden it's just like yeah it may be scary to you but then it's just like you get quiet you settle your mind because a lot of times that's where fear comes from because our mind is all over the place and it's telling you you know silence you know silence your mind you know and just allow it to flow you never the universe speaks to you in so many different vi vibrations volumes and ways so they're showing you this is what you need but you know before you even start you know just allow it to see what universe is trying to guide you to and when you ask for assistance because that's all a lot of times they're they're not going to intervene unless you're using free will you know if they see something that's very detrimental for you or this is going to lead you into something very dangerous they're going to stop that going to intervene but at other times they want you to be able to do that because they'll leave out it's like hey you can come talk to us and you you on you know ass on your shoulders and you think you know everything and you want to be billy badass and all that stuff and you'll be wondering because you don't you don't put yourself in a situation like see didn't we tell you you need to come talk to us first there you go you're gonna have to learn the hard way and now it's gonna be to that point where you're gonna ask for that assistance or you're gonna ask universe let me stay open to the insight that you're needing me to guide towards those next steps or when you ask for that they you know they're just waiting for that because when you allow yourself to say i'm open to anything that you're trying to guide me to i just don't want to get in my own way because a lot of times our impatience you know we get in our own way of the process of progress and they're trying to tell you don't stand in your way of that you got so many blessings that's coming in you know allow this to come in and a lot of times you get mad when it tells you eventually you know soon or around the corner you be right like, if you say that one time one more time to me you know you see what the hell i'm going through you can stop asking me for patience because it's very short dealing with what i got to deal with and you and it's just at that point if you know you've been in that situation where you lack self-love confidence faith in yourself faith in the universe patience you know all this stuff universe is gonna put you in there you gonna put you right dead in the middle of that, and it's gonna you gonna you gonna start you gonna fulfill that. You putting everything on the same level, you know. Your weak, one of your once it could be once a weakness is gonna be a powerful strength, you know. And these are the things where you feel like you lack. You gonna feel like you in abundance of, you know, because if you say you lack nothing, that means you open to everything, you know. And sometimes it's hard to do that when you're going through so much heavy stuff. And he know that, universe knows that, God knows that, and it's just like. You know, we have to understand we're protected. If it's something that comes into mere contact with us, it's some kind of lesson that had to be learned with that, some kind of truth that was hidden that you had to understand on a different level. And then when you're doing that, like, oh, okay, now I see why I had to go through that. Or a situation will come up and it'll show you, you know, you, especially if you get into it where, you know, where people just want to constantly bring you in something. They don't, there's something that they're trying to keep you distracted from. You know it is. It's something they want to keep you distracted from. That's the, you know that's all the devil. And it sound like my mom when she said that girl. That's just the devil messing with you. You know, and it's just a thing. You have true potential about you. You know, if there are certain things that they know that you couldn't manifest or you couldn't do, they wouldn't have chose you if they didn't. You know, that's why they chose you in the first place. You you know your family, your ancestors, they picked you. I'm like, man, look, I get nervous, you know, even trying to find my way to the bathroom, I feel like I'm about to lose it. You know, why they put me in there? Because they wanted you to find that confidence in yourself. You are going to see what they've been seeing in you all along. And that's where you're going through those, you know, ascension crossovers that makes you really recognize your power at a whole different top tier. Like, you are really, like, dang, I was that, you know, I, I had that hidden in there. Yeah. A lot of times you have to understand that's the reason why a lot of times it is like the devil want to play and pray on you. And I'm not talking about, you know, I pray P-R-E-Y. You know, he wants to pray on you because there are certain things that's so potent that can really project beautiful things. He wanted, yeah, I don't want you to curve from that. What is that? Mm, don't worry about that. We'll talk about that later. You know, he'll get you like that. That's why you have so many enemies that comes at you and want to be, you know, because there's, he knows there's something very special about you.
you know and a lot of times we lack that confidence within ourselves because we were programmed to believe that we don't have what it takes to do that or you be, you know you're programmed to believe you had to be a certain person you had to have be at a certain pay grade you had a certain amount in your bank account for these things to come true and universe is telling you you don't realize i picked you and gave you something minute like a little little pea or a little you know a little bean and you about to sit up here and have a whole factory of you about to be the, the, the empire, the you know CEO of something. And a lot of times, that's the reason why people get mad at times when you when you win big, you win and you win big, and they don't like that because that they want to distract you from that because they know God had a purpose for you. And people sometimes enemies can you know sniff that out. Insecure people can sniff that out, and you already know you know they always tell you be careful with people that that don't have nothing to lose. You know, they'll come in your life and make you lose everything. Don't do that. Don't allow somebody to block, you block your blessings just by dealing with all that. You know, allow yourself to know these lessons. You know, we learn it every day. You know, when you can admit to yourself, hey, you know, I'm not perfect. I learned from my, you know, my flaws, my, my you know, my mess ups, my impulse decisions, my setbacks, my failures. You know, and when we say it, we all got issues. We all got things that we're still trying to heal from. It's, it's a, some... Um, allow yourself to come in contact that with that later than others do. You know, we have to allow ourselves to, you know, hold off on judgment. Even when you have so many reasons to judge somebody, some people don't have that that uh, strength that you do to face things that they, you know, scared to face. Sometimes people, it's hard to hear things that it don't it don't align with you know boosting your ego up when you're telling somebody you know because even sometimes i get mad when i hear you know a corrective criticism and I, I hey get out of that vibe that's something you had to hear you know and be able to correct yourself so you can do that so don't take don't take that personal this is that's a blessing that's coming to you you know about that and you know it'd be certain things like that I, you know hey yeah I deserve that I needed to be able to understand that you know if you want to be that person you want to get somewhere you want to surpass what you're trying to place there's a lot of things we're going to have to agree to to disagree there's a lot of things we had to admit to ourselves okay I appreciate that life lesson that really done took me some places allow me to stop jumping in before I fully know what I'm jumping into you know, but take a leap of faith when my intuitive and my guys are telling me to take that leap of faith. Don't stand in my own way of progression because of oppression. You know, and you're you're when you're allowing yourself to do that, I mean boy, you're your own weapon. <laughs> you are your own secret weapon and you are. You know, that's the reason why we have so many things that's coming against us. Could be different times that I can talk to y'all. You're like rousing up. I mean, I got folks coming to all in. You know, I'm just tired of all the drama. You're, you're. It's just like you have to understand. See between the lines. Um, you know, in the smoke and mirrors. When you are close to igniting something that's going to be very powerful and it's going to pave a way, not just for you, but the, the the descendants you got. Not the well. You know, what I'm saying your legacy that hasn't got here yet. Oh, that that devil trying to distract you from so many things because he know you coming close to something. He wants you to doubt yourself. He wants you to doubt God. He wants you to stay focused and worrying about how the outcome is going to be and holding on to that negativity because he wants that to be blocked. You know, keep allowing yourself to get into arguments that ain't even worth arguing for. You know, being in the drama, there is other people's drama. You know different type of wars is coming towards you just to be petty betty you know all those different things and you're like uh uh because -uh. you when you start choosing your battles wisely and you see that there are certain things that you just not need to engage in and act accordingly and move that way you know a lot of times people will bring some i've had people come up here and say the most asinine things to me and i'm just like you ain't gonna say that no just <laughs> You posted it, I'm deleting it, I'm blocking you. I'm not even going to, I say, I already know you came up here with some passive aggressive stuff just to be compliment, being that nice to you. I ain't got time for that. Like, nice to you. Yeah, you're trying to act, you know, nice and you bring something nasty to me and you're trying to make a negative gravy train to come with that. And don't already know. I, I approve all my stuff before it gets published out. And if you do, it just be deleted anyway. If it's something that I feel like I had this entertainment, I'm going to entertain you, but it ain't going to be the entertainment you want. You know, coming at me crossways, and I'm gonna come at you sideways. You didn't see coming. You know, and the other things, I'm like, you are not even worth my energy. Goodbye. You know, and you're being very selective on that, and that's what you need to do. Cause not everything needs your response. It's just you being quiet and moving accordingly was your response.
you know, there's a lot of things that's coming to test you on that. And it's just from those experiences you had before, you're learning from that. And that's why you're ascending the way you are. But it's just certain things, it's just like you are so powerful. Yeah, you know I mean, when you jump in beans, you know, you like flow Joe through everything. Like, you know, nobody can't. It's not saying that you're bigger and better than nobody. But you see, you starting to see the confidence within yourself. When you start seeing the measures, you, you, you know, already went through. Because you can look back at certain things in your life. And universe is always telling you, know, because a lot of times we can deal with low self-esteem, you know, on different things. We don't have that confidence, you know. We see everything that we're going through in a negative way. And, you know, universe is like, you got to change that. You know, I had to be able to tell myself that you got to really change that. Try, change the way you look at things. You know, you might see the beauty out of the most ugliest things that you're facing. But it's just like, you you know, when you second guess your confidence or second guess your abilities. And it's like, look at the stuff, you know, that you have gone through that. I mean, you you couldn't even find yourself a way out of a paper bag, you know, or you keep going further down that rabbit hole and you're really trying to understand how to get out of that. And some kind of miracle, some kind of stroke of love, belief of faith, you done got out of that. Or you done had to face something, many things, that a lot of people would have yeeted their butt the other way and wouldn't even touch with a 10-foot pole, but yet you did. You know, and when you allow yourself to do that, that's, that they're, they're trying to show you, you know, there's so many things that were sent to destroy you. And you done came out, you know, you had to go through the fire. Don't even smell like smoke. <laughs> you ain't even lit up. You came and coming in there and, you know, you leaving just the same way you done went up in there. The devil trying to understand how did you were able to do that because you're anointed, you're protected. You had to be able to see things. You had to be able to know things on a deeper level. So you have a deeper understanding about that. There's a lot of times universe and God will give you views that only you can see. You know, he'll send you in a certain direction. He give you that, that mirror image of a blessing and he'll just give it to you. It's not up to everybody understanding where your direction is as long as you do. And even when you don't, you ain't got to sit up here and tell everybody what you're doing. It's just like, I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm just following where God told me to lead. You know, and you're doing that. And when you're allowing yourself to make, you know, executive and CEO, uh, you know, you know, when you when you making decisions like that, you don't see the power play in everything you do. And that's what they want you to be able to know. This this ascension crossover, one just where you cross, you cross breathing, you crossing over, you crossing under, sideways, you know, a little bit too, you know. But you're learning so much stuff more than you were before. You can look at, you know, I look at myself where. I, I was people pleasing. I'm allowed, I, I sit up here and sacrifice things that was a big no no, you know, just to feel love, just to be wanted, just to be having people and attention. There were people that showed me so much that they didn't value me, they didn't appreciate me, they took me for granted, and I still wanted to bring them in because I was that kind heart, you know, I had that genuine. And I was at that point, if you ain't reciprocating and giving me the same energy I'm giving you, bye. He's like, when I see this, you all up on that negative stuff. When I'm trying to sit up here and, and be vibrant on my positive, bye. <laughs> if, it, if it ain't that, mm -mm. bye. I already see when, even when that vibe change, and I already see you on, I'm like, oh Lord, they hitting through that egotistical thing, bye. You know, and now I'm at that point. I had to be able to do that. I have to make some hard decisions that might make a lot of people mad. You know. I had to be able to let go of people that wanted to sit up here and be sticking their daggone things into me. And I had to let go. Because when you're allowing yourself to choose on strength and strength alone, you're going to make a lot of enemies for that because you're not easily manipulated. You're not easily fooled. You know, you're not being controlled. You're not being a puppet. You know, you want to be, you know, it's like, you ain't trying to be the dummy dummy. You know, you ain't trying to be all up in that stuff. You know, I used to be that type of person. Now it's just like, oh, I made decisions like that. I was in relationships like that because I didn't love myself. You know, I was wanting my, I sacrificed my peace, my well-being, my self-respect, my happiness, my love, my common sense for folks that ain't even giving me the same I was giving them. It was always me. They were taking, taking, they could never deposit nothing. Now, uh -uh, I ain't about to deal with that. I'm not, you know, I'll be hitting it where it hurts. I don't care. If, it, if it's not growing me, if you're just draining me, you know, you can tell when somebody's sniffing out and using a lame excuse about the reason why you don't. Because when you start getting positive like that, you start getting strong. Negativity and insecurity, can't they can't vibe like that with you. And you'll notice like, dang, you know, we were hanging together before. And now all of a sudden I get into my own and really sure myself. And all of a sudden you can't. No, they don't like that. When you start being more on that positive, you know, they, people don't even people that grew up with you in family. You don't change so much, they have to reintroduce themselves to see who you are. 
And that's how it should be. If people can't come correct you, don't come to me at all. Just go, hey, bow face, keep on going, do the yeet that way because I'm not about that language anymore. I'm not putting, I'm, no, I'm not doing that. And that's what people want to do, you know. And then when I see, you know, and now I'm being more bold about it. It's like, oh, you I know, you're like, oh, okay, you being nice so I can come back and manipulate you. Hell no, I was just tolerating yourself, you know, for a few minutes for a reason. You know, this ain't for me, this ain't for you, but this is for something else. Don't mean just because I'm being, you know, I'm tolerating you. I'll tell real quick. I've been telling family that too. I tolerated you for a minute. You know, that that was only for a quick minute. That was, you know, for the kids and them. I ain't about to do that with you. <laughs> I said, dang, I ain't about to be visiting. I'm not, no, no. No, that's for your safety, not for mine. I'm not about to do that. And, you know, and you're allowing yourself to do that. I'm like, I don't care how they say about me, but you, you always being truthful with you. And that truth hurt, you know. And it's just like, you know, all the different things that you're doing. You know, and when you allow yourself to move accordingly, and you know who the heck you are and who you belong to, oh, you're going to make a lot of people mad. <laughs> Especially the ones that can't pull that wool over your eyes. You know, don't be sitting up here peeing outside and trying to tell me it's raining. You know, don't sit up here and, t you know, it's, it's raining out here. You know, sit up here snowing out here and you just don't throw out on the ice. You know, and it, these are the things where you're, you know, you become the devil, devil's enemy when you're not allowing yourself to not think and you jump before you think, you know. You don't know, you be jumping off the daggone Grand Canyon and thinking there's something that's going to sit up here they're going to have a cushiony, you know, safety net for you. No, don't do that. But it's now, you had to go through those experiences and you're having that ascension crossover. For now, you you know, it could be something that comes to you and it'll be straight confusing. But it's just the growth that you have gone through, you know, things that you have allowed yourself to have your whole attention. You're going to see it at a different level and you're going to move in a way you were designed to. So, you know, allow yourself to do that. Congratulations if you um, had the Ascension crossover because you've seen a lot of things that should not yet be seen, but it's only by you. So, I hope you're able to resonate with that. And um, I would love to give a post notification shout out to Kate and Ash T. Time. Much love to you as well. If you're new, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you are able to, you know, resonate with some something in the video or it's just give you some kind of insight you may have needed. Um, I leave all my contact information in the description box below up under the video. Um, it's all about spiritual networking, getting in touch with people, you know, just, you know, sharing different experiences, you know, make sense of it. Because a lot of times we go through something that's like a WTF moment and really trying to understand, did anybody else do that? <laughs> you, have you ever understood that? Has this ever happened to you? You know, just being able to let you know. Because it's like with us and Hey Okas and, you know, Shaman, Hey Okas, Watcher, Hey Okas, we, we experience a lot of things that it just leave you stuck and confused, you know. And um, just be able to share it. You know, it's just like a, a student teacher situation. <coughs> Got a damn incense. <coughs> um, just be able to have a deeper understanding about our path. And um, uh, my uh, podcast is also there in the community box alone. Excuse me, y'all. Um, just on different content that I do. And, um, uh, let's see if you want uh information about podcasting if you ever thought about doing that hey i can be able to help you out with that too whatever you're trying to manifest into your life um you know i'm sending you vibes for that it really vibes to uplift you on that you know a lot of times we can go for things and it's just not really it, it just feel like nothing's getting anywhere nothing really making a dent but you have to know something really big is coming for your way you know and it's very it, i mean it's very out there hold on y'all gotta pause for a minute Okay, y'all, um, whatever you're manifesting, you know, if it's not easy, it means that God got something for you you never seen coming. So, you know, stay persistent and consistent. Don't sleep on yourself. Stay wide, woke. You know, don't allow the enemy or the devil to sit up here and make you doubt yourself on what you can and cannot be capable of receiving and achieving. Because, you know, they try to convince you of that today. That means it's, you know, just because your blessings might open doors to unlimited possibilities towards your life that you never seen coming oh and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation the cash app is there as well so i hope y'all have a blessed weekend please oh well, it'll probably be the weekday probably monday or tuesday by the time this come out so have a prosperous week um be responsible and safe in everything you do uh even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies these things can really take somebody a long way and just for you doing that and wanting nothing in return will take you even further so much love peace 
Um, I say shalom, uh, namaste, God bless, love you, bye.